So what we're doing today is we're replacing, well, this, this is a touch lamp, okay? So you touch it and it turns on and it quit working. And what I did is I got the replacement here. That's a replace, uh, I'm gonna replace it. But uh, I got a replacement, the identical one. And uh, what you need to do on these, uh, number one, th this kind of wire, this uh, uh, translucent uh, wiring really is of, uh, well, it's terrible. I mean, you don't know exactly what you're doing here. So this is the plug and it's got a wide end and it's got a narrow end. The wide end is a neutral, okay? It's, this is a neutral, wide, and you can tell right there. Now, uh, these, I don't know exactly where these come from, but some of these uh, actually, uh, are not uh, black and white like uh, we normally see uh, for power. Okay, so yeah, you gotta be careful with these. And extremely careful, especially with a touch lamp because you're gonna, if you do it incorrectly, you're gonna kill yourself. So the first thing you do is you absolutely make sure exactly what is power and what is neutral. Okay, you don't wanna kill yourself. So just stick it in here like so and we're gonna find out exactly what this here is now this see is translucent so it's coming so we gotta watch and see what the so that's not it okay so that red wire is gonna be a neutral wire and it's gonna go back to the lamp to the white wire now here's the other one and this has to be obviously the power there you go see so that's the power and what i'm going to do right now is i'm going to put a black tape on that uh, other translucent one now that i know what it is and now i know that the red wire coming out of this is going to be the neutral wire okay and you can basically tell well right now it's connected but if it was not connected uh then you wouldn't wouldn't know exactly what to do but you don't want to kill yourself on these. Uh, it's a touch lamp, and it's exactly what you're going to do to yourself. So we know that the red wire is going to be the neutral. And, of course, I'll just move it over here to the, to the wide one, and it's going to, see, there it is. So we're going to connect the red wire to the neutral. I'm going to mark this translucent thing. And in fact, no matter what it is, it's translucent or not, <laughs> you can't really tell because it's going to be either brown or black or some other color. And you just absolutely have to do this to figure out exactly what you're doing. So you go here and uh, yeah, okay. So I'm going to mark the other one. Okay, that's the power. And you go back here and that's the one. So now we know that the red is going to be to the white wire that goes over to the white wire coming out of the uh, coming out to the to the bulb and the black is going to be let me see let me see what exactly connects there okay so so in this one the red wire is neutral and it turns out that the black wire when you look at it on the other side, the black wire is actually coming uh, from this, okay, and this connects into, so the black goes in, uh, uh, the black goes in, and then the yellow goes back to ground on this thing, and that's it. So we just need to figure out and know, you need to figure out that the red wire coming out of this thing is going to be to the white wire. And the, the black wire coming out of this thing is going to be to black. So we're lucky. Okay, some of these things are absolutely all different kind of colors. Brown, blue, and who knows what. So you just got to be really, really careful on this. 
and the white wire here so the white wire it's just it's just actually the way that this thing is the black wire coming in goes in this is the incoming power this is the out the the incoming the red is the incoming neutral and coming out of this to the switch is a white wire see you see the, this is why you really have to be careful with this crap because the incoming this white wire here is going to <laughs> the black going to the bulb fixture so the white wire is going to the bulb fixture from this box the incoming this is the incoming okay so the black incoming the white goes to black here going to the bulb and the red is just connected to the neutral that goes back into the bulb what a what a mix-up but you cannot make a mistake with this stuff so you have you you have the red and the neutral coming in and the white wire there going into the bulb okay and then you have the white wire coming out of this guy this is the input this is the output that becomes black right there to the bulb so that's why you have to be you have to actually mark this thing and you have to double check it take pictures you know that's the very first thing you do very confusing to us in the US because here's a white wire going to black to the bulb but the incoming is black okay the incoming is black the white coming out of this guy is power black to the bulb see how confusing this thing is and if you make a mistake you're gonna kill yourself so anyway just double check make sure that that you mark the wires take pictures and that's the only way that you're going to avoid killing yourself good luck so here's the new one and what you got is you've got the incoming black goes into the incoming black the white coming out of this box goes to the black wire going to the bulb the ground goes here just off the box the ground goes there the red coming out of this box goes to the white coming in and the white going to the neutral wire going to the bulb okay so we're gonna again we're gonna double check this stuff so we got uh, the plug okay so we got the plug here okay so the incoming black goes into the box all right the white wire on the plug goes to the out, out coming out of this box of red and the white coming in which is this guy and the white going to the bulb so it's a common wire okay there you go so obviously something happens in here and the yellow just goes back through the wires you're gonna have to remove the top you know otherwise uh, that's the only way to ground it but uh, anyway that's a new box so we're not gonna kill ourselves we did exactly what uh, it had before it turns out that this particular box has 
the, uh, the, the same colors because it's a, a, an exact uh, copy of it. But if you can't get an exact copy, then you're going to have to uh, do exactly this because you cannot make a mistake on this. You've got to test that this narrow uh, uh, incoming power is going to be matched over here. Okay, to this to the uh, incoming power. So, uh, wait a minute. <laughs> See, then you have to be thinking, obviously. Okay, so the narrow, the narrow goes there. Okay, and uh, you have to double check it. You have to watch what you're doing. Again, you can't kill yourself on these things. And the only way to turn uh, to, to test it, obviously, is you're going to have to touch this. And if you touch this and, and this is incorrect, you're going to kill yourself. So, anyway, double check uh, on the ones that don't match your colors. Uh, double check the, uh, uh, the diagram that comes with it and make sure uh, that you do exactly what it tells you to do. Um, and you can't play with this kind of stuff. Uh, and this is a sure way to, to if it's not going to kill you, it's going to give you a nice shock. And that's not a good feeling. So, uh, anyway, hopefully somebody, you know, uh, you know, that's doing this or that wants to do this, uh, goes through the steps to make sure that uh, it's uh, wired correctly before you attempt to test it. All right, here we go. Let's give it a test. There you go. I see. You have to do it correctly. Uh, just follow the steps. There you go. And touch it at the bottom. And there you go. There we got it. Anyway, just follow the steps and you'll be okay otherwise uh, you, you'll get a big nice shock or if you're lucky it might just uh, not work at all but uh, if you're unlucky you're gonna get a good shock